Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from New Jersey. So today I'm actually outdoors. It's, uh, as you can see, it's not a very good Sunday. So if I were running on solar here in New Jersey, it would not be fun. Um, I'm sure you can hear the birds and the chainsaw. That chainsaw has been going on for a few days. So today we're going to talk about um, warranties. As you know, I've been experimenting with different inverter manufacturers. Our most, uh, most common installation usually is done using a Victron. Uh, we did Schneider for quite a while and of late we've been doing, we did one or two, we did two grow -outs. Actually, three grow watts, I'm sorry. And then we've done two Frank Person XTMs. Um, we did quite a few Schneiders in 2016 up until mid-2017. And we experienced one or two failures. Yeah, the warranty process is a little cumbersome, but it gets done. You take it to a center, the center confirms it's bad. They send it to the manufacturer, the manufacturer sends you a replacement. Uh, with Victron, we've not had a failure. We had an incompatibility issue where we're doing um, a three-phase, I believe, and one of the inverters couldn't talk to the other. We took it back to Lagos, to the Victron dealer. Uh, they couldn't fix it. They gave us a replacement. So that was pretty seamless. Now, um, about a month and a half ago, I had a failure with a Growat inverter. They asked me to fill out a form, which I did. I sent it to them. They told me to try some things. I tried it. And they said the inverter is bad. We're going to send you um, a replacement. It is. We've gone through the entire month of June. I've not seen the replacement. We're about to enter July, and I'm sure by by time July 15 rolls around, I will not get a replacement. They said they don't have it in stock, and they've not when they've not manufactured it. When they manufacture something, they will send it to me. I don't think that's a very good warranty policy, considering that the failure rates are with the grow at a little higher than normal. Uh, people who I connected, who I told to purchase it, have experienced failures. And generally, uh, Growart has been able to process the replacement within three weeks. Uh, this time around, for whatever reason, that's not happening. So I would like to know um, why it is that they've decided that they're going to take a little bit of time to replace um, our inverters. So I had the same experience with Frank Person. You all know Frank Person Heating. Um, I've been making purchases from us since 2014. I bought the original FMs, which he was doing. The FM are the Outback clones, and they blew up quite a bit, but she replaced them. And then I started buying the, um, the Victron copies. And I've not, I, you know, when they fail, I call her, she sends me a replacement. I've purchased two XTMs, which are the Studer, S T U D E R. I call it Studer. Uh, people who know better than I do say Studer. Uh, she makes the XTM copies from Studer. And um, the, well, one of them failed. The client I called, we had a really bad rainstorm, and when I came back, there were no lights. We did uh, basic diagnostics, uh, the remote couldn't see the inverter. There was power coming to the positive and negative terminal, but there was nothing going into the inverter. The inverter wouldn't come on. Uh, there was some burn marks on the board. So we told Hidi, Hidi said, send it to me and I'll get you a replacement. We mailed it to her by uh, DHL. And within uh, two days of us sending it out, she has sent us a replacement. So based on my experiences, Hidi is unparalleled. Victron is unparalleled, Growart is still questionable, and um, all the other manufacturers, I did Yen, never could process a warranty, purchased from some people who sell expert in China, never could process a warranty. I wound up paying for replace, replacements, and then I bought from uh, Foshan Tanfon, never could get a replacement from them, they didn't do anything. So my experiences so far for warranties is use people who someone else has used and had very good uh, experiences with. Once again, this is Dr. Sola. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please click the subscribe button below.